All right, all you lovely Poco X3 Pro users out there, I'm back from a vacation and we are talking about Derpfest, official's latest update which I flashed yesterday. I have been using it and I have a lot of interesting things to talk about this particular ROM. So before we get into the complete review, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1800 members over there and you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash, let's get going. Now, first things first, this is one of the smoothest and fastest ROMs in a long time that I've experienced on the POCO X3 Pro. I'm not saying this to create hype, of course, no developer has paid me, so I've been using it since yesterday and let's talk about this wonderful ROM. Now, this is Dubfest 12, Dubfest official. Maintainer is this guy and this guy, null exception and one other person. POCO X3 Pro, this works on YU and Bhima both. Android version is 12, updated on the 9th of February 2022. The changelog says February security patch, which is a good thing. Fix up surface flinger service pinning, fix task profile usage on vendor init script, update IMS libraries from this, 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 merge Linux table, merge calf tag, add Leon Semi LN 800 or 8000 charger driver, that's a good thing. Fix screenshot button issues on FPC fingerprint and then there's the full change log available now under the notes section you do have it's oss based it includes g apps you can use 12.0 firmwares se linux status is enforcing safety net should be passing and all the things are checking out so that is a good experience when you get what you're promised by the developer on a custom rom especially on a device like poco x3 pro it is really really a good experience the moment you boot into this particular rom you will see that you have this wonderful wallpaper once you enable themed icons it does look even better to be very very honest and to the left you do have google feed which in the 120 hertz mode on this custom rom is working absolutely smooth absolutely buttery fine no problem whatsoever now if you swipe from the top to bottom you will see that you do have screen recorder or screen casting and options like those which are present if you actually go to the screen recorder you will see now that you have multiple options even though this is android 12 and we are at a stage where in android 12 custom roms are now maturing to a very very good level i'll tell you why you can actually record internal and external audio and see how monid ui is taking over the complete operating system this is actually more and this is actually better than what google would have probably intended and it is really good to see some developers putting in so much effort to the monit user interface now you do have show touches on screen show stop dog lower quality bigger file size limit and the moment you click on start you will get a countdown timer over here and then the screen recording will begin along with the privacy access notifications to the top right hand corner now as you can see over here the best part is even with screen recording on everything is smooth which is a great thing so you know nothing to worry there the moment you go ahead and stop the screen recording the power of snapdragon 860 comes into the picture and it works just fine even after playing back the recording let's see here and the audio is crisp and clear the external audio is so crisp and clear using the default microphones on the device. That is a really, really good thing. No stutters or jitters there. So yes, kudos to the team who did this hard work to make this screen recording so good on the POCO X3 Pro. Now, if you actually go to the edit menu, you will get a lot of customization options. Remember, Derpfest is not only about performance, it is also one of the good, uh, you know, customization ROMs out there. So you do have a ton of quick access styles and you do see that I have enabled the caffeine mode and stuff like that. Now over here, you can put in your custom footer text, you have your edit menu, your power menu, and then you also have the settings shortcut, which absolutely works like a charm. Now, if you press and hold over here, you will see that you have access to your Android 12 widgets. So nothing new there. 
Wallpaper in style gives you access to themed icons and something new, system icon packs. So that is a good thing. If you change the wallpaper, well, you will get a different experience. Let's select this color for that matter and see how quickly Monet UI does the change. Although Android 12 is matured, this is still a big deal for me and it improves your experience way too much. Now, if you swipe from the bottom left or bottom right, you don't have the assistant shortcuts, but you do have a Google search bar over here. If you go to home settings, you will see that you have this particular derp launcher, which does give you options of customization. And that is a good thing. Now, one small bug that I see over here is the Monet UI is not completely applied. Let me see here. Yes. So the themed icons, let's go to home. Let's go to wallpaper and style. Let's go ahead and disable themed icons. Let's go to wallpaper and style again. Let's go ahead and enable themed icons. And still it is showing the purple accent on the icon, which is a really weird thing. Now, just to confirm that this is actually a bug, I'm going to quickly go ahead and switch to, um, to this particular wallpaper and see here. Yeah, so probably that wallpaper had some accent. So it's not exactly a bug. It is working fine. And that is always a good thing. Right now, if you go to the main menu or, you know, the quick settings or even the app drawer, you will see that the minimalism continues. This ROM does not come with any bloatware. And that is a good thing. Another good thing, it comes with Google Camera Go. So, you know, you're better off with this compared to the very, very basic AOSP camera applications that you get in some custom ROMs. So that again adds to your experience. Now, if you see over here at the top, you do have the speedometer, different styled icons, your battery estimates and all those things which are added in terms of the customization options. Now, you will get a very, very standard and basic uh, Android 12 settings menu over here. So let's actually go to settings. Let's go to about and uh, let's go to the Android version. You will see that you have the full dub fest thing going on over here. Platform version 12, official version she on YU. This is the change log. It will take you probably to a web page and you have the February security patch and the Shaldia derp kernel SE Linux status is enforcing. So if you actually go to the Google Play Store, let's go back here. Stay tuned till the end of the video because I do have some update regarding gaming as well. So yeah, device certification is present. Safety net passes by default. Widevine L1 is present. So all those basic functionalities are absolutely fine. You don't have any problems whatsoever, right? Now, apart from this, if you talk about the smoothness of the UI as a whole, it is really, really nice. Now let's actually, oh, one handed more kicked in. Yeah, so let's actually go here and see what we have. So we do have the battery customization options in which you have thermal profiles, which does give you 180 Hertz touch sampling rates. So that is a good thing. And you do have the idle manager, which has started showing up in a lot of custom ROMs now. But the good thing here is derp space. This is a comprehensive customization menu, which you will now get to see in a lot of Android 12 based custom ROMs because under status bar, you have these many options, battery settings, carrier label, clock and date settings, status bar items, traffic indicators, miscellaneous. Under quick settings panels, you have notifications, quick settings. Then under lock screen, you have lock screen shortcuts, lock screen UI, ambient, always on display, battery, customization, pulse, navigation bar, and general settings. So the customization menu on this particular ROM is pretty comprehensive and it works absolutely fine. If you look for the game space over here, let's see here, game space, there you go. So you do have the game space as well. This is a different game space compared to Android 12. So that is a good thing. Once again, you can go ahead and add different apps and different games to this particular game space. So that's a good thing. Now, what about the performance? We've been talking about the customization, the charging, the battery life, even the battery life on this device on this particular ROM is pretty rock solid. If you have a look over here, let's see battery usage show usage we have just had about 22 minutes of screen on time we were just around 52 or 53 percent and we are still at 34 percent and we've been using for you know almost i don't know 24 hours and that is really really nice even the charging speeds are rock solid so 27 to 30 watts of charging is what you get so now talking about the gaming experience before we actually go ahead and talk about the benchmark numbers unfortunately on this particular rom you are not getting 90 fps unlocked by default Hopefully in future, they will do the same. So I did check that in BGMI. If you actually go to Google Photos over here, you will see, uh, let's go back and let's get, okay. 
So you do get unlimited storage. Now let's talk about the important stuff, the benchmark numbers. Now the CPU throttle test says average score of 187, 400 GIPS with 89% throttling. Although this is not bad, but it can be better and it is going to be a great performer even with this throttling, okay? Now let's talk about this. 612,017. You probably read that in the title. This is the highest ever Antutu benchmark score that I have seen on this particular device, which is always a good thing. I'm not saying benchmarks mean real world performance, but they do mean something. Now, after this, that second run, I got 606,932. So, you know, if you see across the board, it is a consistent score, less than, you know, 1% of error, 6,600,000, 6, you see. The temperature increased by 5.5 degrees and the battery dropped by 4%, which is okay because this device does have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Even if you go to the Geekbench numbers over here, let's go to history over here, 785 single core, 2657 multi-core. So excellent single core score, average multi-core score. So all in all, be it benchmarks, be it customization, be it gaming, be it using unlimited storage, using banking applications. If you can figure out a good Gcam port for this particular ROM, this is going to be a daily driver, a rock solid performer, works really well, charges fine and the battery backup is great as well. So Dubfest's latest update for the Poco X3 Pro is splendid. You should give it a try. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.